Hey guys, it's Steph. It's not Sunday. It's Friday. But yeah, I'm sorry for missing last week. I had my graduation party and the whole day was really wild, but I'm gonna upload some videos of the party itself. Um, at, like, I'm gonna add it to the end of this video because it was a good time. We had a magician. Yeah, a freaking magician. But anyways, so, so I'm on my way to work right now. And I'm going camping this weekend, so I just thought I'd do this whole shindig now, you know? But anyways, this last week's topic was about... What is the most important, you know, LGBT issue or law, I guess, right now? And for me, right now, I think the most important issue is gay marriage because it, it was just, you know, concluded to be unconstitutional in the California courts. And it's so close to getting to the Supreme Court and finally, you know, being changed. And I think that's awesome and it's exciting. But at the same time, I think that if we just focus our attention on one thing at a time, it'll be a lot easier to move forward. And since we're so close with gay marriage, like, we just, the community just needs to, like, you know, focus on it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Um, but, you know, really, now that I think about it, it's like any law concerning, like, LGBT people, I mean, we should all be equal anyway, so those laws are unnecessary and they shouldn't exist at all anyway. Yeah. I guess, okay, all right, yeah, that's my standpoint. Anyways, getting off track. Alright, so this week's topic is what do we think of the whole ex-gay thing and are ex-gays still homosexual? I think that like people who are ex-gay are still attracted to the same sex. And because that's something you can't control. You can't control who you're attracted to. But at the same time, you can control how you express yourself. So, like, in that sense, they might be with someone of the opposite sex, but they still have that attraction for the same sex. And if they are physically attracted to this person of the opposite sex, I feel like the attraction would have to be forced. It, it's not something that comes naturally. It's something that's, you know, forced, for lack of better words. And I think they'll always have that thing on the inside that's, you know, like, they have this attraction for the same sex, but they just choose to not express that. And I guess if your definition of homosexuality is sexually being with someone of the same sex, then no, they're not, they're still, they're not homosexual anymore. But if your definition of homosexuality is um, having attraction for someone of the same sex, then they're still homosexual. That whole thing kind of confuses me anyway. You know? They should just be themselves, right? Come on. You don't have to press anyone with your super straight attitude. Like, who gives a shit, right? Whatever. But, alright. I'm about done. Because I have to focus on the road. You know? Gotta go to work. But, alright. So now, here, I'm going to upload some videos from my grad party and okay this magician corny yes however freaking awesome have a good week guys and i swear
swear, I'll see you next Sunday. We have a couple scarves here. Here we go. Gotta get them out of here. There we are. Now we have a couple scarves. One scarf is black, one scarf is white. We wave them like this, we wave them like that. Uh, that looks good, so good, so good. Now watch.